Hi and welcome back to another Mr Talbot Maths video and in this week's video we're looking at another problem similar to last week about finding the fraction of a shape that is shaded. This time it's not blue, it's pink. So um, in this scenario we've got four uh, quarter circles inside of a square and we want to find the fraction of this inscribed square, this pink square of the total shape. Okay, so if you want to have a go at this yourself, feel free to pause the video now and then restart it when you want me to go through it. Okay, I'm going to go through it now. The first thing that I would do with this question is to put a diagonal here like this. Now, the reason why I want to do that is because I've got the radius of each quarter circle. Um, I've also then got the diagonal of this square. Okay. What I'm firstly going to do is I'm going to put my radii on here, or the radius of this quarter circle. And so that means that my length is 2r of the outside square, the larger square. Um, and I've also got that this is a radius here and this is a radius here. Um, I can then, hopefully, but I can, try and work out the length of this diagonal using Pythagoras because I've got that the outside square has a width of 2r. And if I square those atoms together the square root, I'm going to get the diagonal. I'm going to call this y for the moment, that's the diagonal of the smaller pink square. So what I'm going to do is I've got r squared, uh, sorry, 2r squared, add 2r squared, the outside square here, and then if I square root that, that has to give me uh, 2r plus y. That is my diagonal. And so what I get then is I get the square root of 2r squared. Well, that's going to be 4r squared plus 4r squared is equal to 2r plus y. That gives me the square root of 8r squared. Square rooting 8, I get 2 root 2. Square root the r squared, I get r. So I end up with 2 root 2 loss of r is equal to 2r plus y. Now I want to work out actually what y is here, so I'm going to subtract 2r from both sides, and I get that y is equal to uh, 2 root 2r minus 2r, which I can simplify that to being, by factorising out my r, uh, 2 root 2 minus 2. Okay, so that's y. Now I need to work out the area of this squared, so I'm going to call the side length, because I need to work that out, x. So again, x squared, this is the next part, x squared add x squared, square rooted, has to be equal to y, because that's the diagonal again using Pythagoras, uh, and y is r lots of 2 root 2 minus 2. Okay. So I've got the square root of 2x squared is equal to r 2 root 2 minus 2. This will give me root 2 uh, lots of x is equal to r times 2 root 2 minus 2. Now what I want to do now is divide both sides here by root 2. So dividing both sides by root 2, I'm going to get x is equal to r lots of 2 root 2 minus 2 over uh, root 2. Now I can simplify that quite easily uh, by writing x is r lots of, well, 2 root 2 divided by root 2 is 2. 2 divided by root 2 is root 2 because root 2 times root 2 is 2. So I'm going to subtract it minus root 2. Okay, 2 divided by root 2 is root 2, 2 root 2 divided by root 2 is 2. So I've got this, 2 minus root 2. Okay, and that's the uh, length of my square. Now what I want to do, I'm going to work out the area, separate this bit off, the area of this square. That's going to be uh, r and 2 minus root 2 squared, because I've got x times x, which gives me r squared, and then 2 times 2 is 4, minus 
uh, root 2 times 2, and I've got two lots of them, so that's going to be minus 4 root 2. Negative root 2 times negative root 2 will give me plus 2. So I get the area of the pink square is r squared and then 6 minus 4 root 2. And we're nearly there now because actually the area of the full square is quite easy to work out. So area of outer square, well that's going to be uh, 2r times by 2r or 2r squared. That will give me 4r squared. At this point, we're ready to write as a fraction. So, the fraction of the shape that is pink is, well, it's r squared lots of 6 minus 4 root 2 out of a total of 4r squared. Now, simplifying that, we can cancel out the r squares top and bottom. And then we've got 6 minus 4 root 2 divided by 4, and what we can do there is divide top and bottom by 2, because we want to leave this as a fraction, not two separate things. Uh, so divide top and bottom by 2, I'm going to get uh, 3 minus 2 root 2 over 2. And that is the fraction of that shape that is shaded pink. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that video, and I hope that if you tried it yourself, you were able to work that out. Um, if you enjoyed, please remember to leave a like and a comment, that really helps. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. I really appreciate it, and I really appreciate all the likes and everybody that subscribed to the channel. If you like this video, then there should be plenty more videos just up here. Uh, hopefully it's, it's here. That's where it should be, the one that you want to watch next. Okay. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.